Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back, as I hit my mic stand, welcome back to another episode of Silver Creek Falls Chapter 3, and I say another episode, it has been a while. And a side note, I hope my volume is okay, because I don't know how many times I've sat here and tried to adjust the mic volume, and the game volume, and as you can see, for some odd reason, you're watching this tiny window. I have tried to adjust it numerous times to fix it, so you could watch it in full screen like I am, but typically when the game loads up, it is in small screen. I can't get it to record everything, for some odd reason it won't do it, so I just said to hell with it and we're just gonna, we're going with this, because I'm tired of messing with it. So back by popular demand, and when I say popular demand, I mean one person has requested this game. And I'm going to oblige and say to hell with it. I don't remember what happened. I don't remember what I have to do. I don't remember... I don't even remember what I was supposed to do. Boy, that was a really weird dream. I need to go find Lee and Valdez. So I controlled this game with the arrow keys... As you can see, I'm sure you can hear me button mashing, and it, it's a little weird. I think I go up to shit and press enter. I will, if you have not watched this series, this series that has gone on like way too long, but if you have not watched any of this, I will, at the end of this video, I will put the link to, um... Not the link, I'm sorry. At the end of this video, I will put the playlist for Silver Creek Falls, Chapter 1 and 2, and I believe 3. But I will put the playlist there, or you can just go and check out my playlist and watch them. It's so far a pretty weird game. Like It's been so long since I've played, I don't remember. I shouldn't look around so much. I expect some traps knowing him. The last episode, I uh, found a Deputy, I think that was supposed to be dead because there was some weird shit going on. Let's go talk to this guy. Good morning, Sarah. Did you sleep well? Like a baby. Thanks, Valdez. Actually, I kind of had a weird dream, but I'm sure babies get weird dreams too. By the way, I never got your first name. Rodrigo. Named after my grandfather in high school and college. Everyone called me Rod, though. Rod? Cool. So any news from your unit chief? I would try and do voices, but I really can't because there's no voice that really comes to mind for them. So you just have to bear with my shitty reading. Uh, they're going to do a major investigation into Bolt Pharmaceutical and try scrap and try scrape up. I think it maybe should say and try to scrape up enough evidence for a case. Enough evidence? Didn't they look inside the lab? When the crew got there, the computers had been wiped blank and the rooms cleaned up. Damn it, I knew we should have stayed. How about the bodies? Also gone. The security must have det detected the intrusion and must have also gotten suspicious after those hazmat guys didn't come back. Oh. That is also in video in the videos I have. If you're curious, watch the playlist and every all of this will make sense. They, cl they cleaned up really quick. This stinks. We should have stayed. No, I think Lee made the right call yesterday. They might have sent a larger force and would have been outmanned, and we would have been outmanned and outgunned. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm much, ugh, I'm bad at reading. I'm more of an investigation specialist, not much of a fighter. I can shoot, but I'm not a seasoned veteran like Lee. I fired my weapon a few times when I was a Massachusetts state trooper, but you're right. We were in a bad position to fight. On that subject, where is Lee? My unit chief wanted me to bring in Lee so he could answer a few questions. I told Lee and he said he'd much rather not. As he's been enjoying his new found... And... Yeah, just... <laughs> I'm getting tongue-tied trying to say it. Anonymy? Not, being anonymous, basically. Besides, a strong old soldier like Lee, are you kidding me? How can I bring him in? I'm going to tell my unit chief... That he slipped away in the night. Fair enough. What really happened? The man saved my life. I respect him way 
too much to ask him to come in. This morning, he and I had breakfast, and he left soon after. I agreed to cover up, to cover up him. He shook. We shook hands, and he went on his way. Who knows what adventures lie next for him? What about us? What are, are we going back to the lab to investigate more? Unfortunately, I've been taken off the case. I've been moved to another one. They want me to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma, to look into this old Clyde character. They want me to see if he has any relation to the case in Walleye Head. What about me? I'm sorry, Sarah, but once, but since I'm off the case, that means you're off the case too. I'm flying to Oklahoma tonight. We can go to the airport together, and I've been instructed to buy your ticket back to Virginia for you. This really stinks. I can't believe you're just fine to be taken off the case. It happens more often than you think. You have to remember that it was Agent West who was a senior agent, not me. They want to put someone more experienced on it now? I'm sorry, Sarah. I guess I have no choice. Shall we go to the car? Yeah, a security detail is going to meet us at the convenience store. They should be there by now. So, okay, I guess I just followed the path. Yeah, because my car's parked over here. As I run into the tree. Hopefully, again, hopefully the game volume and... Hopefully the volume is good enough to where you guys can hear me. Because I've the, tried so hard to try and get it to fix. Get it right to sound good. Well, there's the security detail. Thanks for walking me to my car. What? I wasn't born yesterday and I know you still want to stay on this case and finishing it and finish it I know flying you to Virginia isn't gonna stop you from working this case Lee gave me this note to give to you it's for your eyes only open it later it will tell you where you can find him there's still work to be done Valdez I don't know what to say I'll see you around Sarah any national B BBQ or pizza related competition and you know I'm there goodbye special agent Valdez take care detective Fitzgerald Letter from Lee, added to inventory. No, oh, it is very difficult to sit here and read all of this. <laughs> hmm, I better find Lee. Let me check that note that Valdez left. Um, go here, go to items. Due east of the convenience store, there is a small village by the lake. There is more more work to do. Find me there. L. L Davis. East of the convenience store, small village. How do I know which way I'm going? <laughs> Just walk down the street. Okay. So, how do I know which way is north and east and all that shit? Forgot I can kind of run. Hmm, I better find Lee. Let me check the note. He said east of the convenience store. Well, the problem is I don't know which direction east is. Wait a minute. Did he say east or west? No, I'm starting to second guess myself. Do east of the convenience store, there's a small village. By the lake. There used to be a button for the map, I think. But I don't remember what it is or if I even have it. Apologize for the button mashing. So, I, I guess typically this would be east. They definitely make you kind of think. 
Ah. By the lake. Okay, we have found the lake. There's a small village over here. <laughs> I'm guessing now. Oh, found him. Detective Fitzgerald, I see you received my note. Special Agent Valdez gave it to me. He told me about you and the FBI. It's a shame he was moved to another case. Valdez is a good man. I don't blame him for taking the easy way out. What's that supposed to mean? Don't you understand what's happening? I'm trying my best, said the voice. A very powerful person was about to be exposed by his investigation and decided to pull strings to have him reassigned. Bolt? Perhaps. Or maybe somebody even more powerful. Is Veldas in danger? We should warn him. You saw what happened to Agent West, right? He'll be fine. Veldas, Veldas is a smart man. He knows how, to, how the game goes. The game. Veldas is a good agent. But more importantly, he's a good tin soldier? He takes orders from above without question. I have to go on. Sorry. Look to his transfer to this other case as an example. He didn't fight his unit chief on it at all. He was happy for the case to be handed to someone else. He knows as long as he does that, he'll never be in any real danger. Besides, he has a wide network of contacts of his own. He knows if he's wanted and what to do to no longer be wanted. For example, look at the silly little mission they've sent him on. They sent him to Tulsa to follow a lead on two missing village fisher, fish packers from North Carolina. An FBI agent on a missing persons case? Are you kidding me? So I'll fly him all the way to Oklahoma, put him in a hotel for three days, and even cover his food. Offer a case that will not be solved thanks to his trip there. If that isn't misuse of bureau money, then I don't know what is. So Valdez will be fine? I'll put it this way. The copious amounts of barbecue and pizza that boy consumes is a greater risk to his life than any of these scenarios they are imagining. I can't believe that. So what's our next step concerning the case? As you heard, the computers at the secret lab were wiped clean before the new FBI, before the new FBI team got there, so we don't have it, enough evidence to make a compelling case anymore. How about the photos Veldas and I took? You mean the photos you two took after Ill illegally breaking into a private facility? Yeah. Both lawyers will shred that up into two seconds. We know, need those files to make a convincing case so we can finally see justice for all those victims. Any ideas? Mm, excuse me. As a matter of fact, yes I do. I have an informant who I have who I have do, doing some undercover recon. She has yielded some highly useful information. As a matter of fact, you have met her before. Really? Who is it? Sky Davidson. She came to me thirsty for justice after what I had done to her friend, Rebecca Olson. She told me we are to meet her at the secret hideout today as she has some very important information for us. Where is her secret hideout? It's an old abandoned house northwest of this lake. Let's go. We have to meet her before noon. Well, okay. This may not get in. Okay, well, I guess I gotta follow the path. Excuse one, one moment. Uh, okay. All this talking is insane. It's just up here, up here at the end of this path. It's a nice old house from the 50s. Sky found it a couple of weeks ago, and we use it to discuss the case. I'm trying my best at a voice, but it's it's kind of hard because I can't.
picture. Like, I'm trying to picture, but I don't know. I just can't do it. Lee, look at all that broken glass and blood. Did the house always look like this? One moment, please. Damn phone. Not at all. Damn it, Sky. Where are you, Sky? We need to go in. Objective. Find Sky Davidson. Oh, shit. Again, sorry about the hitting my mic, but sorry about the little window that you're watching all this through. Oh. We're going in. Is the furniture normally thrown around like this? No, not at all. I did the wrong voice. Sky and I fixed this place up so she could stay here a while. Clearly something happened. We need to find Sky. I hear some noises. I'm gonna go see if there is someone out back. Can you check to see if there is anyone in the living room? In the front? Isn't it a bad idea to split up? Walk qui quietly and check your corners. If you see anyone, do not engage. I repeat, do not engage. Just find me and I'll handle it. Okay. I like to minimize the use of my firearm anyway, especially since I'm strictly speaking not on the job. Smart. So he's going that way. Okay, he's going out that door. I guess we're gonna. Oh shit, son. Oh fuck. Oh crap. Damn it. There's so many of them. I'll turn around and find Lee and see what he thinks we should do. Okay, he went that door. The fuck? What the? I mean, okay, I guess I'm going this way. I have a gun. Oh, damn, dude. Oh, okay. Drops all three of them. Well, we know who the badass is. <laughs> Lee, how did you... There are so many of them. There was only three, but... I'm an army ranger with over 30 years of experience. They were just punks trying to be tough with their guns. They're all dead. I take it you had no choice? We need to find Sky. <laughs> That's a... Fuck that shit. Holy shit. Like, uh, so much spent brass, guy. I think we found her. So much spent bra brass, Sky. I mean, oh my God. Like, am I? Is there any evidence or anything? Like, God damn, dude. She set up a barrier to fight behind. Looks like she really went down fighting. Sky, I'm sorry. Fight, okay. Okay, I thought she was gonna say something different. Got a shoddy on the table? Okay, nothing, nothing to say there. No! Lee, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He leadeth me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me to beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness. I'm not going to read all this. If you know evil, he's saying a prayer, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna let him have this moment. That was beautiful. Is it from the Bible? Yes, it is. How many must die? How many? To keep this corporation's evil secrets. All those students, Deputy Hill, Agent West, and now Sky. I swear that I shall avenge all of these awful deaths. I swear. Her body is full of gunshot wounds and bullets. We should bring her to. We have in the time. We haven't the time, damn it! Lee. I'm so sorry, Sky. I should have never let you get involved. Why did you? 
She kept coming to me with more and more information. She would investigate and infiltrate. It's thanks to her I was able to find out so much about Professor Conway and Bolt Pharmaceutical. She was adamant, adamant and zealous. She would stop at nothing to see justice be done for fallen friends. I keep telling her not to go any deeper, but I couldn't. Excuse me, stop her. She even tracked me down and found my secret cabin. I really judged her wrong. Sky, you really put up one hell of a, of a fight. I'm proud of you. Don't worry, Sky. I'll be back, and I'll give you a proper burial. What about her family? She had none. She was an orphan. Her friends in college were all she had. You must have been like a father figure to her, I guess. Oh, look. She has a key on her. It must lead to something. Let's go downstairs and find out what. Damn. Anything in there? A small med kit. Damn. I spam magazine of bullets. I taught her well. I know you want to look around because I know in the game it will put like clues. Look at all those bullet holes. There must have been one quite standoff. Excuse me. I mean, there was only. Damn. How many of them, them were there? Because there's so much like blood and shit in here. Okay. I mean, I can't even... Yeah, I, I have to walk around like all the blood like I'm a investigator type shit. 